I, okay. I can see him get a headache. So, they're requesting 299 to keep Josh Brooks. Wow. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another DVRP video. Thank you guys for all the love and all the support on the previous videos. I do appreciate it. Today's video, we're going to do some traffic enforcement in this unmarked um, Dodge Charger 2018. Got a nice little like blue dark blue on it i saw a car like this in new york so i figured i would try it hopefully you guys enjoy remember to hit that like button and subscribe turn notifications notification so you know when i post gonna remind you guys about channel memberships and uh channel stickers and um and super chats if you guys want to go ahead and do those those help me out a lot on the channel um thank you guys for all the love again make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and uh yeah uh let's go there's a fire down the street so let's go assist with that and see how this goes one other one, you can show me time for one today. Thank I just you very much, it. I appreciate it. You can also have that guy just right in the back of the medic on the way to the hospital. Um, let's go ahead and turn off my... 22, the shots fired at 871. Let's turn off the scan list, because I don't need to be hearing city stuff right now. Uh, radio talk. Radio. Let's turn that off. Let's also get the plate reader up and running. Can we block that other side? Um, Alright. Uh, There's a little bit of a fire that's going just on. not adding up to me right now. It's, uh, why does he got a gun on his back? Why, why does he have a gun on his back? I don't know. I haven't even gotten that far. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take that off of you, sir. So explain to me. You said your bike is inside. You said you wrecked. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, you got a license for this gun? Uh, yes, I do. Is it automatic? Uh, I haven't fired it yet, so I'm not sure. Okay, you do know that if this is automatic, you, you, you can have this confiscated, correct? Oh, I did not know that. Here, let me, uh, let me remove that. Just me checks to see if My it is automatic. Well, now I gotta check and see if it's. And now I gotta check and see if it's automatic. You have any ID on you, sir? Uh, y yes, sir. Okay, go ahead and hand that over as well. All right. Can you also answer the other skybox questions? Uh, yes. He's the victim, yeah, but bros running uh, around with a with a thing on his back. Michael Smith. We just got one arrest so far. Three vehicles registration, mostly my motorcycles. He's in possession of an automatic weapon. I think I'm gonna cite him for that. I think I'm gonna cite him for that. Oh boy. Here to be registered. They can't have automatic weapons. So we're going to give him a citation for it. Um, Michael Smith. And how'd you wreck your bike, you said? I hit a patch of sand going through a corner. No, no, actually, I wasn't. I'm just unfamiliar with this area, and I was on the outside of the turn. So, were you coming from? I'm gonna give him an infraction, jail zero jail time. Mail was in possession uh, right you. of a 
Automatic MP7 Open Carried. This is not a legal weapon in the state wait, 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 of wait, 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 San Andreas. Yes, sorry, officer. Say, wait, did you fall off your bike yet? Uh, over. No, hold on one sec. It's past two six nine. Okay. And so you two seven go, six. So you pick your bike up, roll down here. And yeah, so it's you not got here. here. So when you got here, the fire, the fire was not going yet, right? I mean, not that I could see, but like I said, I walked inside, uh, saw some smoke and shit, and ran out. Okay. It's gotten bigger. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. I'm just, just want you to just understand from my point of view. No, um, no, I, 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 I completely understand. Like I said, the only people that I saw in the area uh, was the sheriff vehicle. I don't know if it was the same sheriff, but behind you, and then a um, look like a teal lowrider. Okay. A teal lowrider. Yeah, I mean, he was driving pretty erratically. Um, he about hit a pedestrian on a bicycle, but um, I mean, I didn't think anything of it. Where is the you last vehicle? location you saw him? Uh, let me check my uh, map. One sec. Is it? Is it on? No, I said what vehicle? You, you said it was a lowrider type vehicle. Is it up on big what wheels? Kind of vehicle or? Was it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, so that has yeah. to be an Impala, uh, probably in 1985-86 Impala, kind of. What kind of vehicle was it? I, yeah, I, I yeah, just it was... said that, Malik. It, it's, a, it's a car. Say what? It's a, it's a lowrider kind of car. That's what I'm trying to figure out with him. It's a lowrider kind of car. Can he not hear us? I, I'm confused. No. Oh, yeah, Ch uh, Chad's talking. It, it's a Impala. Um, yeah, I, I think... I'm not sure the year, but it was older. Um, it was a classic. It's a box style with up on some big wheels. You got a color? Yeah, yeah, color? yeah. The color was a uh, teal or light blue. Okay. All right. Interesting. I don't know why he can't hear me. And where was the last yeah. guy that you saw it? I cannot hear uh, him. Yeah. He <laughs> yeah. Some communication error. <laughs> um, let me check one sec. All right. Before you do all that, oh. um, I'm I am gonna be issuing a citation today, sir, for the uh, automatic weapon. It is illegal okay. to have an automatic weapon in the state of San Andreas. You can have a weapon, but it has to be uh, semi-auto only. Okay, just signed okay. on. Okay. And I'm gonna also have to confiscate your weapon. You can always come back and get it signed off once you get uh, a court order um, from Please the court suggesting channel. that you need to get the mechanism and trigger action changed. Okay. Yes, sir. To sign down here in Dawn Line is not mission to guilt, just proof I've spoken to you here channel. today and you agree to abide by the terms of the citation. Citation okay. fee is gonna be about three hundred and fifty dollars. Just sign down here in Dawn Line for me. My name and badge number is gonna be on the top left hand corner. I am one out of one uh Commissioner Marshall with the blink the uh Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Okay, thank you. Okay. There you go. Here's your copy and your license back. Thank you. The uh, medic should be checking you out shortly. Okay. Thank you. All right. So that guy is, he's going to be good to go. You can't have an automatic weapon like that. Um, that's, that's just not, you know, allowed. Yeah. Medical will be here in a second and then they're going to get you treated up. Thank you. Oh boy. Third degree burn on top of road rash. <laughs> what was that? Uh, third degree burns on top of road rash. Yeah, what were you trying to get your bike out of there or something? Yeah, um, get rid of that. Post, you know, thinking that I could just get in and, and get treated. The less I have to walk, you know, the, the better. And uh, I couldn't get it out. Alright, let's go ahead and check what's in here. All right, let's see. This bike does not have anything on it. One can six one seat. Attempts to get a 
evidence of what could have caused fire at two eight three. What do I find? Investigate also attempts to salvage the CTV footage from 283 fire station what do I find all right let's see if they're gonna answer that and uh And oh, see who says right anything. Now. Yep. I just got to the county. I saw this fire. Uh, I was headed here and then it was. So, right, so. Yeah, it was bad. Alright, so we're gonna wait on the reback for the CCTV. Yeah, the back. We should be getting one pretty soon. The AI are moving around. Moving around my car. That is crazy. Let's go ahead and put my car like right here. And I think that's that's good right there, right? That should be good. Yo, I'm mad sleepy right now. It's crazy, bro. I don't know why, but I'm like mad sleepy right now. Like Jesus, like I'm tired, bro. Like I feel like I'm been I've been doing stuff, you know. I don't think anybody's answering that, so I'm just gonna. All right, guess they don't want to answer. Um, I'll ride up to uh, pillbox. I mean, uh, Polito to see if he's up there. Okay, but the, uh, I don't think he's the one that said it. On yeah, I don't think he was either. Damn it, I'm going back yeah, on the road later. All right, all right. Alright, interesting first scene. Let's see what we got from here and all. Alright, let's go ahead and pump some gas here real quick. See how this goes. Oh man, I'm way tired, bro. Shit. Why is your name not coming back into the system, Mr. I'm wearing my hat. What happened? Why is your name not coming back into the system? Okay, uh, let me check that because it, it's it's a long story. Actually, one second. Mm -hmm. Who's that in the black charger right there in the white t-shirt? I'm pretty sure I know who it is, but is that Adam one? Yep. Wonderful. Can I have a chat with you back here so I can get something straight and I need your opinion on it? Okay. Okay, so I pulled this guy over for the impeding traffic as he slowed down and I was behind him. We were driving in traffic. Uh, he slowed down, stopped, uh, then continued. And Officer, then in pull here. your gun out right now. Just shoot both of us, please. Then after that, when he pulled in here, um, I, uh, the driver was trying to fuel up his car, and I told him that he was 
having technical I have no idea. I told him that I there was a passenger, he could fill his car up, blah, blah, blah. So I told his passenger to step out so he could fill up his car. When he stepped out, he is fully naked, um, meaning you can see all of his junk and everything. Okay. I told him to get back in the car because obviously I didn't know. Um, and I told him to get back in the car because he can get, you know, charge with that and everything like that. But, you know, can, I would have charged him, public. but... Uh huh. <clears throat> yeah. So then after that, the driver. Well, that's my th that's my my original question is just basically, isn't it, it would that count as you know him being in the car naked as other people are passing by or he's driving by and people and like they literally can see him still through the window. Mm, the fact that he's driving on the on the public roads like that, then yeah, that's him being indecent indecent exposure in public if he was on let's say a private residence inside the vehicle or right outside his house then it would be fine but the fact that he's driving around naked in his car no tents or anything on the vehicle then you can put him for public nudity okay wonderful i appreciate it no problem can you get me a towel trooper or officer if you have one Hey, passenger. Yeah, what's... Go ahead and do me a favor, step out of the vehicle. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Let me know. I'm getting back soon. All right. All right. Let's, let's go up here. We're going to just run a little bit of traffic, maybe. And uh, see how things go from there. Job, Bruh. Sir, so don't worry about that. Do you have any questions? Yeah, Wonderful. Sit tight right there. Bruh. <laughs> uh, I, can I, this is going. Okay. I can see I'm going to get a headache. So, oh, man. They're requesting a supervisor. Or, sorry, the naked guy is requesting a supervisor. Uh, he thinks that I'm violating his Fourth Amendment rights. And he thinks Fourth Amendment right to do what? Free his willy? <laughs> <laughs> I Bruh, know, no, it's I, against the law to be outside with your with your without your clothes on. Like, what what's so hard to understand about that? It's not a Fourth Amendment right to do shit. Yep. Uh, go ahead. Sorry, I. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's all. Uh, he wants the supervisor to talk to him and explain on why he's being arrested. No, I he's walking up there. I'll, I'll I'll listen. What's up, man? I'm uh, seeing your Corporal Zelensky with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. What can I do for you? Yeah, so basically, this officer right here was like, I had to show no type of sign of any threat, and he was just, he just placed me in cuffs without telling me what was going on. And I really don't understand what I'm in cuffs for. Or he never told me I was arrested or anything. So, uh, really? I'm just probably in cuffs just or what? Detained. Really? He didn't tell you what you were getting yeah, arrested for? Yeah, but why? What am, I, what am I detained for? No, he hasn't told me I was arrested at all. And he he was for he he's forcefully putting me in cuffs. Okay, so but he doesn't but he doesn't need to tell you what he's he arresting you for until he figures out all the facts. You do that, that right? That's excessive force, though. It's not excessive force. It's only excessive force if he told you to that he just told you to put your hands behind your back and then randomly tased you or randomly punched you in the back of the head. That's excessive force. He grabbed and, my arm. Yeah, that's not excessive force oh, because we are we are governed to do go hands on force once we tell somebody to get out of their car. I asked him so many times, like I, I think I asked him at least five times, but am I being arrested for? He he didn't tell me anything. Okay, like, I, I asked him was I under arrest? And he All right. never told me. All right, you can go ahead and fill out a complaint form once you get into jail. Any other questions? I got you, but I also have another question. I'm I was in the back of the car, laying down. That's where I sleep. So I don't really understand what was the problem. It's still like, public and you can see. It's not. It's not. Even if it's my home. Yeah, the, a like, home I'm is closed, regarded. I have a home is regarded. Is there is dirty clothes though? By so definition. By definition, a home is a place where you're residing and it has to be stationary. This is by law. So now if you have somebody's moving around with you in the back of a car, that is not no longer regarded as a home. It would be regarded as a home, let's say with an RV situation, if you were stationary and has been there for a long period of time. You weren't. You were in the back of a car and 
you didn't even uh, inform the officer that you were naked when you got out the car. That's public indecency. You had the choice. My, my boyfriend, you had the my choice. boyfriend definitely told him plenty okay. of times that I was naked, and he still forced me out of the car. Okay, so. but you still you do understand that you can't be outside in public naked, right? That's inside of a house. Be, I can't even be in a vehicle. No, you can't. So I'm still gonna because, go to jail when I have clothes yeah. in the back of the car that I can just throw on. I mean, you could have you should have thrown them on before you got out the car, sir. I was told to get out of the car. And either I, way, he was, he was in. Either was way, naked. why are you naked inside of a car? Because I I I legal I I can do what I want to. I'm a human. Yeah, why, but why, why can I not? you're you're also being governed by the laws and and regulations of the country that you reside in. Therefore, yeah, he, he even if you naked. are a human, it doesn't matter if you're human or not. You still have to abide by those same laws. And those laws dictate that you are not supposed to be showing your willy out in public. Once you're in a car and you're driving around, that is regarded as public. Now, it would be different if he reached in the car and dragged you out. That would be completely different. But the fact that he gave you a lawful order to exit the vehicle when he had all probable cause to. And you decided you were going to get out without even at telling him, okay, I got to put some clothes on. That is on you, sir. And just to let you know, your buddy stated that you were half clothed, meaning you had. He did not say that. He said I was underclothed, actually, for your permission, since you want to. Underclothed. Underclothed does not mean naked, though. I'm still. It's still underclothed. What do you? It doesn't mean that? naked. That could also mean in a boxer, which is completely fine to be out in public in a boxer. So that underclothed, underclothed, under underclothed does not mean naked, sir. What does it mean now? It means that you don't have on the normal regulation of clothes. That's all it means. Under clothes doesn't right, mean naked. I'm just taking it to jail at this point because I haven't did any. I, I wasn't no threat to this guy or anything. I was very nice to him, so I really don't understand why I'm in the situation. He's just trying to hassle me at this point. I mean, at that point, right there, that charge is completely up to officer's discretion. I personally would have given you a citation and let you go. But if he thinks that uh, an arrest is justified in this point, he will may go ahead and make the arrest. And then you guys can go ahead and fight that out in court. I really don't care. But at the end of the day, he decided to go through with the, with the correct lines that he wished to do so on this day. And that's, the, that's it. He has to cover himself now with writing a report as to, and justify why he put you in handcuffs. Why he thought that the best choice at this time would have been to arrest you and go from there what you do from here sir is that when you get to the station you go ahead and contact your lawyer and try to start building a case to defend yourself so you can get the charges dropped that is completely normal procedure sir i haven't even told you you're being arrested i told you you're being detained at the moment is there any questions comments or concerns regarding anything that we've talked about today sir all right, well, I'm going back and eat my donuts. Have a good day. Go ahead. Stay safe. I appreciate it. Oink, oink. Talking about pig. I'll shoot you, old dumb ass, bro. Talking like about I said, mister, um, I you, you just wrong. I mean, so what am I in the car for? You just wrong. You can detain me without putting me in cuffs, so I know I'm going to jail. Without putting you in cuffs, but I can detain you. You can detain with cops and put him in the car. I know you're trying to take me to jail anyways. Why would you put me in cuffs and put me in the car? What are you going to do? Bro's annoying. My point is this. This is my point. It's the reason you're being in a back and forth. Bro's annoying, bro. You have to realize this. It doesn't matter if you live in a car. The issue we're having, and this is the issue you're going around, or this is the main thing that you're going around, and you're not listening to the supervisors nor the other officers. Okay? But they're trying to are deputies, my apologies. What they're trying to go ahead and explain to you is no matter the circumstance, you're on a public roadway. That makes it public, okay? You're driving. This is this makes it private, but at the same time, this is literally not your property. Now, if it was on your property, you're fine, okay? That's okay, understandable. If your vehicle's stationary at your property or somewhere that has been there or, you know, as like that supervisor, you know, was explained to you, that would count as a home. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my thing is that you're driving on the road little kids could be in you know cars with their family and they could be driving past you and see you naked do you think that's appropriate and we all have the same thing literally not everybody 
What do you mean, not everybody? That's not true. That's not true that everybody has the same thing as you, dude. Not right, it's 2023. Okay, females have vaginas. Okay, okay and 2023. Like I have a penis. Okay, and? okay, but my point is that what about little girls, 10 year old girls? You understand that, that you know how that looks? Yeah, be all right. That's what I'm trying to get to my point. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't even made my decision if you're going to joke. So right now, you're, you're being detained. I'm gonna make it myself clear again. You're being detained to the tight and I'm gonna call User you joined your channel. Okay. Have you been able to get that all situated or no? All of this can have been started out if he is just okay. like so I'm gonna go not being a dick know. about it, bro. Well, I'm not gonna be, you know, if I'm being completely dick, honest. Go ahead and, you know, you know, just put you in jail because, you know, the sex that I do have every right to go ahead and arrest you for uh, the technically false. Uh, not what, what was it? I forgot the name Something about uh, false information or something like that. Fraud or whatever. Because it's not popping up in record and by law I have to do that. If somebody's giving me a false name or yeah, failure to identify I can also be if somebody's giving me that situation's out of my control. No, and I know that's why I'm saying I'm not gonna go ahead and be a dick. No, I'm not going to be a dick and do that. That's what I'm trying to make you understand, okay? Your buddy over there, on the other hand, I don't know if I'm gonna take him to Joan or not. I'm gonna go ahead and run in for information. Hopefully he gives me his name. Um do you know by any chance that he has an ID in his car? Okay. That stop takes a long time, bro. I'm heading out. Oh, boy. Let me know what you guys think about that call and uh, what was discussed. Was I right for telling him that or was I wrong? I think it'll be a good talking point to open up in the description sorry in the comment section so you guys let me know what you guys think about uh what i said and what um and everything that happened during that scene and um we'll talk about it next time so hopefully you guys enjoy and um yeah let's move on to the next scene y'all hey after two like weather. role play all day man you're a w person I'm not talking to you. What, me? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for pulling forward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trailing a truck right now. Speeding. David 327, show me on scene at 313 at the tractor. MCCD? I think they're, they're going to be eager to get a call. <laughs> We gotta put an engine on it's on. Can we get some of these? King 79, man. Nah, we're going oh, to get unit 70. It's even frowned upon on major roadway. What's your, what's your call sign? Is it uh, 124? Uh huh. Like Let him do the call. Why are you doing the call? What? Let him do the call. Why are you doing the call? True. I right, call it out there. What's your uh, call sign? One, one victor two. One under one time eleven three one three. Uh, you two parking lot is gonna be in a black and color for a truck occupied time one additional. Oh. All right, good day, sir. Roll the window down real quick. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna eat no that. reason for oh, it. Right. I'm doing pretty good. I'm uh, Commissioner Marshall of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is you ran a stop sign back there on that third I road did. over there. Yeah. Oh, that one. Coming over the oh, train I thought, track. I thought it was right. I thought it was. And you were going, you were going, you were going pretty fast hey, too. I didn't clock you, but was. I'm just yeah. Oh, for a dirt road, you, okay. I know this is a truck and everything, but you know you gotta. It's still a residential yeah, no, area. Is, you know, people is, live around there, so. Yeah, this is a, this is an F two fifty. Right. With it. Yeah, you can, but I'm just saying, like, it's it's still a road where you have to be cognizant of people and kids and stuff like that. Yeah, you yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm not gonna ask for your information or anything. I just want you to slow it down. Be careful of the stop signs. It's not a stop sign that a lot of people realize about. You know, so it's not that big of a deal. Can you back up off of me? I, I think. What the heck? Was, uh, I think it was glitching for his, his eyes. 
Okay. All right. Well, have a good day, sir, and um, just be careful, okay? Are you too? One out of one. You can show me a tunnel code before I be back tonight. How are we doing, man? How you doing, Ox? What's up, man? What's up? Why are you, yeah, you getting pulled over for me? I don't even know, man. My mom got the off-road package. I'm trying to sneak in. Hey, uh, are you still in the fucking background? All right. You're a hater. I don't know. We don't do haters in here. I'm a hater. We do, t <laughs> we do tough love. We don't do hating hate shit. Yeah, hating yeah, sounds like a J thing to do. Yeah. 10 4. Where's this location? Okay. 5,056, give me the air. I believe I'm gonna have somebody take off. Alright, come on. 1080. 277, Panorama Drive. It's gonna be a red truck. Jesus. Good north or south. Bro. Wow. Sorry, cuz the lights are so bright. The bright check me. Uh, he's gonna be in front of the fire station. Oh, okay. Alhammer Drive, 283. Alhammer Drive, 283. He's now off roading us at Joshua Road. One out of one out of one same traffic. It's a red truck, he's going eastbound on Josh Road. I'm not able to off road as what he's doing. Do they have a poster? What is it red truck with flags on it? Yeah. Stand for he's gonna be continuing high rate speed two nine nine east Josh Road. Yeah. Not Dang! That, that was not on my <laughs> Oh my god. In a 311 East Josh Road. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, take your call out. You're just having a movie secondary. You're making a left now. Oh, what the? Go Gotta no love getting hit by a fucking unit. We're not going to be getting on Joshua going westbound. Alright, those are 56. We're going to be continuing southbound 311 East Josh Road. Here, I'm gonna keep calls because we're, uh, we're secondary here. Uh, you can keep on driving. We're, we're, uh, we're right along. Unknown uh, where he went. He, he's next to me at 311. I don't know what just happened. He stopped now. This is. He got his hands up. Unit, stop. Stop. Everybody, we are setting up for code 5. Get from in front of him. You guys are in crossfire. Set up for code 5. Why are there so many units? That's crazy. Sorry, cross fire, it's on northwest. Oh. Oh. Trooper, your primary. Go. Bro. Control you one. I don't want more than four units on a pursuit. I'll let you 71. Detach. Okay, we're westbound, off road next to Joshua. I'm gonna give him some room out to seven fifteen from him. We're now going southbound. South on Cat Claw. Off roading in the national park. Tahoe, you got let us know where he goes. Hey bro, we got him. We're uh we're gonna continue on the dirt road, we're gonna be coming out to Panorama. Copy. Now going off road, off of Panorama. We're about heading towards the airfield. All right, so I'm over at the airfield. We're still off road in dirt road parallel in the airfield. No, 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 no. We're now on the airfield. We're headed westbound on the airfield. I guess going on to the like shorter crazy. runway and off-road yeah. again. Yeah, like so bad. And now off-road and head towards Route 68. How many units is there on the pursuit? Uh, like one, two, three, four. three, four. Three or four, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Besides this Durango, you know, behind If there's a fifth one, Bro, road, this fail, trooper's fail, fail. driving go, 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 go. is I'm ass. Don't hit you him. Don't fail. hit him with your car. Don't hit him with your car. He's running uh, down on towards Route 68. He just jumped off a cliff. He's gonna be down towards Route 68. Oh. Yeah, going that's what you get for that it's stupid driving. Just going across, or are you going east or west? Unknown. I, I got, got him. him. We're gonna be uh, 363 over here, Route 68. Throw him hook. Stop, man.
Stay right there. Stay on the ground, bro. Stay on the ground. Don't Dude, fucking move, man. Don't give my arm for my hand up. Why my hand up? Come on, man. What I do, man? Come on. Man, come on, man. What is wrong with you? All right, Jay, that's your right. show on fire, man. I was outnumbered. That, that is just real. I gotta go. He is way too loud. I can't understand. One out of one, nothing. two. Oh. One out of one, five, zero, fifty. Ten one, please.